I wanted to move on and, and uh, ask you a couple of questions about unpublished opinions. Good. And, and uh, I, I have kind of a, a little bit of a cynical take on, uh, on the practice of, of unpublished opinions and rule of court 8.1115. And I always like uh, to ask who, you know, whoever want, <laughs> whoever's willing to sit in the hot seat, I ask, like to uh, put to him oh, yeah. this, this quote from Howard Bashman. He runs the, uh, uh, is it the How Appealing blog? And uh, mm-hmm. he, he wrote this, this article uh, back in 2017 in the ABA Journal for uh, Council of Appellate Lawyers. Uh, the, the journal was Appellate Issues. So here's the quote. Quote, the most sinister and inappropriate use of an unpublished opinion uh, must also be considered. Sometimes it must be admitted. Applying existing law to the facts of an appeal would produce a result that is difficult to describe as, quote unquote, justice in the context of a given case. In such circumstances, it may be difficult for appellate judges as human beings to avoid the temptation of using an unpublished opinion as a method of arriving at a just resolution of the current case while being able to disregard that result in the future as a one-off outcome, having no binding effect on future cases. And how uh, Mr. Bashman goes on to say, I wish I were inventing this possible use of an unpublished opinion, but I have heard appellate judges admit to, uh, admit to it themselves to explain why an appeal might result in an unpublished opinion instead of a published opinion, end quote. So after having read that to you, I wonder if you have any reactions to uh, Mr. Bashman's observations there. Well, what he's saying is, is you, can, you can bury the bad stuff under the rug by not giving it air, giving it the light of publication. Uh, that what it's ironically, uh, that wasn't my experience. Do I think that happens deliberately? I actually never saw it when I, I worked at four, three. Well, of course, no, no one would ever admit that they're doing it deliberately and they, they might not even admit it to themselves. No, but- but if, if the opinion were sufficiently a hot potato or sufficiently innovative that it required publication, I never saw it not be uh, published. Mm-hmm. In other words, I never saw anything that was not published for a bad reason. I saw stuff that might not have been published because it's just boring and ordinary, or maybe it wasn't well written, uh, but I never saw, actually, I never saw a bad reason at 4 3.